I'm back. So, boy, that looks weird. All right, so uh, I'm taking a clipper guard, uh, three quarter inch, and just taking everything off uh, to the same length. Now, this is where we're gonna talk a little bit about face shape um, and just a few pointers. So let me grab my mirror. Now, when I turn to the side, what you'll notice is the profile starts to drop down just a little bit. One, because of the hair growth pattern, and then plus my jawline underneath has a little bit of sag at my age. And you'll be able to see it when I turn to the side. All right, so there we are. You can see how the line follows my underneath my chin fairly well, but then it starts to drop down through here. Uh, a lot of times people will have a tendency to leave that, not realizing what the profile shape looks like. So this is why it, one of the reasons why it happens, I'll direct you to the uh, flip chart here. Now, in the younger days, or if you're really lucky, uh, when it comes down from the chin here, it's often it'll just kind of come up just a little bit or just straight across. If that's your actual face shape underneath, then you can go right to the area where the neck changes into the jaw and cuts your line along there and you're good to go. Um, we don't always have that blessing. So for instance, let's get rid of this young man's chin here. And let's say the chin starts to come back and then this is kind of where I'm at. You're probably getting a little bit of that number going. All right. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm looking at. So when you're cutting the beard from the, the side view, wherever the neck connects to whatever the lowest part is beneath your jaw, that should be your shortest point. From that, if you bring it out, one, you'll hide that, lucky to be a guy, I guess, um, and give the appearance a more square shape. Now this area right here is where you're seeing this little drop in my chin at. So what I will be doing is I will be taking my clipper and where it is straight across, I will go ahead and keep that. I will be cutting right into where the neck and the jaw meet, wherever that happens to be on my face shape. So that will help square that off just a little bit. On the side view here, I will follow the same um, line. If you put your finger right up where underneath the jaw, you can feel where the neck changes into the jaw. So that's approximately where my jawline is. So I will just come down just a little bit into the narrowest part and I will be drawing a line in there to follow the actual jawline. Uh, once that's completed, I will clean up just around the ear area following again the natural hairline. Now I do find that as guys uh, either get older or sometimes the hair here grows back quite a ways. So I like to actually cut that into just where the jaw begins uh, to help compensate, make it look like we're doing some werewolf thing. Uh, not that a werewolf was bad, you know, but they're, you know, they, they're a little wild. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. I'll video back up just a little bit. And just clean it up and just show you what that looks like. That's just a real basic. Now just remember, the lower the chin is underneath here, the, the better the look if you start bringing that down. And that's why one thing I've kind of realized uh, in watching gentlemen, especially as they get older, um, they start wearing their beards a little longer. And I think a lot of them don't really do it consciously, but they kind of feel that they start wearing that little squarer and dropping that down because that hair, the skin or the neck starts to sag. And if you follow a clipper with that, just like what you do on head form, that clipper guard being the same length all the way around is gonna repl replicate the head shape. Same thing on the beard. If you have inconsistencies on the beard area, 
um, and you follow it with a clipper guard, the silhouette of that will uh, also replicate whatever shape that is. And uh, in most cases, or maybe just in my age cases, that's probably not the best look. So we will uh, clean that up and I'll be re uh, back to show you that in just a minute. And now we have the final for this particular segment. So when I turn sideways, you notice a little bit of inconsistency right under the chin has now been squared off. The side has been brought up to just below my jawline to keep that square. There's a three quarter inch guard um, over the whole face, except for the mustache, because I got to leave that for my down the road for some of the other videos. Uh, so that's the change. And if you look back just from the previous videos, uh, you can see how it starts to change face shape and appearance quite a bit. And uh, there you have it. Have a great day.